We've already kick-started this episode by digging a few more holes and fitting a few more poles, but we have got a big shift coming up today because as usual, we've got a pile of timber, a slightly smaller pile of timber than the last few episodes. But this is a real milestone because at this point, the North Shore Trail takes a big turn. We're heading that way down the field because it's time to build some jumps, which I'm pumped for. I say that we're going straight into building jumps. We have got a tiny, tiny bit of North Shore to finish, which is gonna be the link from what we built last episode into the rolling, which is starting to then head down the hill towards the gnarly bush gap, which is gonna be a huge jump over the hedge. That zone is really overgrown and it's really hard from here to picture where that's gonna go and what that's gonna look like and what we can actually build in the middle because from here to that gap, there's quite a big space. So I'm thinking like a race jump, maybe even a racer to like on off feature, who knows. What we have to do is get straight into this episode because I need to rattle through this, finish this, clear it, and then we can actually get a clear understanding of what we're going to build once we can actually see where we're trying to go. It's got to be the hottest day of the year so far and I'm absolutely roasting but we can't let that stop the progress here and Tom's put me in charge of strimming because it's actually one of my favourite jobs to do, it's quite fun. So I'm going to start off by clearing this area, strimming the grass to make a bit of an opening so that we can complete this section of the trail. then complete kick around which wasn't actually as hard as I thought but look at that Ta -da! <laughs> I said at the start of this video that we're just gonna get on and rattle out the woodwork it's now three days later but we've finally got the North Shore finished and I'm honestly so happy with how it's turned out. Cara built the little kicker for the race jump, which she would have taken you on a journey with her doing that. I haven't seen the footage back yet, but I'm sure it probably was quite a journey watching her put that together. Let's have a look. Look at that clear space behind me. It's actually the first time that we can actually visualize what jump in that bush down the bottom is going to look like. Now, we're on top of this tower, the, the last bit of North Shore we just built, and it's really high up. We're gonna be able to have quite a big jump there. The next job is to work out how big we can have the jump and stack the landing ready for the digger to fill in with dirt tomorrow morning. Now, that's a three foot kicker down there with quite a lip on it. So the landing needs to be quite big. And I've got a feeling that this race jump even is gonna be able, it can be quite big. Why are you down like that? Because you didn't build a handrail and I don't like it. I'm really terrified of heights. I'm also terrified of balance booms, seeing as what happened to me before, which I'm sure all of you probably know about because I literally cannot ever live it down. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Ooh, oh, oh goodness. Right. Are you all right? We've got rocks to gather now though, so we're gonna collect them, stack them up in preparation for the landing. This is our supply of concrete. Cara's laughing at my goggles, but the reason I have them on is because I've got my grinder and I need to grind the rebar, which is in the concrete, holding it together. But we've got a big supply here. There's more over there. Whoa. Blimey, O'Reilly. Man overboard. Is that your one? Yep. <laughs> oh my That's goodness. my one. That's your oh one.
Good morning people, welcome back. It's a new day and we have got the machine in, which means stuff is getting done, big transformations and lots of excitement. Dad's down there in the digger. He's gonna be dragging things around, building this landing and really getting things going in the right direction. So the floor is his. Let's run the time-lapse and see what happens in this part of the video. You. Right, the party has arrived now. I am here to help. Tom is here stacking Hadrian's wall. We've named it because it looks like Hadrian's wall. We've got Tom's dad over there in the background on the digger, digging out a channel for the kicker to go in to jump over the bush gap. So it's all happening. It's all going up pretty quickly now we've got a digger, which is really good. Let's go and see what Dave's up to in the digger. Right, we're just trying to shape the landing. It's kind of new for both of us. Dad's driven the machine a lot, but obviously never made jumps. And I've never really made jumps with a machine, so we're just sort of coordinating. I'm like factory controller at the moment. <laughs> What an epic few days that has been building and I can honestly say what we've built looks incredible but it's all good and well, we're looking incredible. We're actually gonna test it out in a minute and see if it works. We can actually now, when we look down there, start to realize and see what that bush gap is gonna look like. The last build clips you would have seen was me and dad stacking that landing whilst we had the digger but that's a whole nother episode finishing that working out the gap because at the moment it is massive which i honestly hope that we can keep it that size but that is all going to depend on how hadrian's gap works how cool does this look it must be the best looking landing that i've ever seen if i must say so myself but it was so hard to stack lifting them rocks around was so difficult dad did one of them which was this big and with the digger all the others I picked up in a barrow and moved round. It was so hard, but it's so worth it. That brings us on to what's in the middle of it though, because it's obviously the dirt that we ride on is important. Now, the dirt here that comes out the ground is great for stacking, but it's terrible for shaping and giving a smooth finish. This has got a load of grass and stones in it. Up the top, we did that floor with sand, but there was way too much down and it went like a cat's litter tray. It was absolutely horrible. So I scraped a load of it off. It's mixed with stones and loads of horrible things. But I honestly think, and this is where I need your guys' help, is a mixture of sand and clay that has been sieved the best way to do the face of these jumps to make them look good, but also to ride and go hard in all sorts of weathers. Or is there another way? Let me know in the comments to you guys out there that are keen, experienced trail builders, because I generally don't know. This stuff here, is what I'm trying to shape jumps with. So it doesn't pack well, there's lots of stones. There is some finer stuff here, but even that, when you grab like a handful, it's still got rocks in it and it's so dry and just horrible. But I think if I was to sieve that and mix it with what's in this wheelbarrow, the sand, I think if you had like a low ratio of sand compared to clay, when it's wet and packed in, that would be the best combination. But let me know what you guys think. Would you recommend that whilst we're down this end? This is where the kicker's gonna go. We've got a pump bump into the ground. I need to clear that, we need to build the ramp. That's a whole other episode. But I'm looking up at what we've built and I'm very, very keen to get on with this. Give it a try, see how big we can have the gap, see what the speed's like. There's lots of questions that are unanswered. I'm gonna get on my bike and give it a little test. I'm so happy with how this bottom bit's turned out, but I'm one board short out of this whole build. So that'll have to be patched up and ignored for this episode. I'm on board the like again. I can't stop riding this e-bike. I've got others, but this one's just my favorite by miles. The bottom curve I just showed you back there, I think I'm gonna do here. I've put a few different things here over the episodes, but that looks untidy and the other one's way better. I say this every time, but look at that view. That's unrivaled, I'm so happy with that. Let's get on with this speed test for the jump. Okay, then up here, this has never been ridden before. Okay, this is the speed, oh, it's tight. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this has never been ridden before. Yeah, this is the speed it's tight. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I might just pull it in a bit for the first one. Yeah. Because Hadrian's wall's horrible to case, isn't it? Yeah, you get a blowout instantly. <laughs> blowout? You'd blow something out. <laughs> blow your femur out of your bloody hip, hip. socket. Right, I'm going to mark. Mark. Dropping. Oh, that's tight there. I like that though. Okay, here we go then. Oh my God. It's so good. Woo. Here we go then. Oh my God. It's so good. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my God, that is so tight up there. Yeah. But you do get good speed. All right, here we go. I'm going to try the skinny skinny this time. Yes. <laughs> if that's not ready for a kicker, I don't know what is. I can't believe that we've got a full line, well, three quarters of a line here. It's actually remarkable, isn't it? Yeah. Should we try to get another angle just to show the first bit of this camera on us, just kind of show both, the like, whole thing working? Yeah, yeah. And then we'll talk about the next episode. We're there people, we've made it to the bush gap. The whole line's working sweet. There is a few tweaks I wanna do. I already mentioned the bottom curve. Make these middle bits, what we built last episode, just flow a bit better. Like the first time I did the skinny, I went almost straight across it, but it's so narrow when you're coming onto it and coming off. So I'm gonna put like some extenders so the trail just sort of flows a bit more without having to stop. And the same on the easy option, make that corner a bit wider because it's supposed to be the beginner one and you have to be able to do 90 degree hops on a skinny whilst balancing terrified. But this bit here is working awesome. The speed's so good, it goes downhill perfectly and the jump is absolutely perfect, which now brings us on to the monstrous bush gap, which we're hopefully gonna unlock next episode. This is the landing then. As you can see, it's probably, how tall do you think that is? Uh... Five and a half foot? Six foot, Carl reckons it's six foot. It's gonna have a six foot kicker. It's about a foot in the ground the other side. So we need to go up with it. We need to go wider. There's a lot of dirt there. It just needs pulling around because we run out of time with the machine to complete that and we also need to dress the landing which is what i was talking about around the other side so remember give me your advice give me your help what do i do to you know make that nice and smooth with the sand clay mixture hopefully someone out there knows and can point us in the right direction but next episode we're going to unlock this and it's going to be ready for a big session on the whole line soon where i'm going to invite some other riders along to come have a play and see what this new line at the tom pound is all about i hope you guys enjoyed this video i've had the best time ever when we started this line and we uh, made that rolling which is right in the far corner i didn't know where it'd go and then as it developed i had this idea that we'd jump the hedge and now like a month later this is where we are and it's just so so sick i'm so stoked on it and to think next time we could be doing flips over this hedge onto this side which is going to be terrifying is such a cool thought so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up leave your comments ideas and dirt advice down below and i will see you guys in the next video Let's go. Yeah, I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a